Samurai, the Samurai Warrior, has been your most dominant, dangerous women's champion of all time, from Raw to NXT to SmackDown Live. I am better than every champion there was. And to inform you that I am your longest reigning SmackDown Live Women's Champion in history. I have faced women from past and present. Legends icon like Trish Stratus. A so-called princess warrior, Tia. I face people from the new dimension, like Rosemary. But everyone who came to my path, I slice them right down the middle and retain my championship for seven months. And it's quite amazing. Yes, me and the SmackDown gym had many differences. But it's okay because he tried to put me down, ran me over over the bus and everything. But look at me, I still retain my championship at that Elimination Chambers match, if y'all remember. So, with that being said, I deserve respect from everyone. That's right. If oh no, I'm sorry. Please continue. <laughs> That's right. The Glamazon is back. Yes, I've been out on injury from last season. I'm back here on SmackDown Live to reclaim my rightful spot as Queen. And Satoru. Why are you here, anyway? Excuse me, Beth, but why are you here in my place? Do you see this? Look around. This is Satoru place, okay? The SmackDown Women's Champion. And I don't like how you came and just bosh in like this and interrupt my Spotlight. Who do you think you are? Huh? Oh, Satoru. See, that's where you... That's why I need to stop you right now. Because... Let me remind you. You haven't faced me yet. So, how about you put your money where your mouth is? How about tonight? you. Okay, Beth, okay. I'm not done yet. How about I face you tonight for the SmackDown Women's Championship? <laughs> I'll do to you like I did to everyone else. Destroy you. See you out there. How it's on. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This is a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crown here tonight. Corey, you would have to think it'll take the performance of a lifetime to walk out of here tonight with the gold around her waist. Yeah, you don't beat the champ unless you go at her with nothing less than your absolute best. And even then, there's a good chance you're going home empty-handed.
Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. Byron, many people are saying that these women are the top competitors in the division. Would you agree with that assessment? Well, the women's division certainly is stacked right now, Michael. But yeah, these competitors definitely stand out when thinking about the top women in the industry. Introducing the challenger from Buffalo, New York, Beth Phoenix. Introducing the champion from Asgard, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Satoru. If you didn't think about moving, you'd better apologize. And these superstars look more than ready to get going here. I don't know who's looking more forward to this, the women in the ring or me. And guys, if you think this Dayton crowd has been loud so far, just wait until this match heats up. And now it's Beth Phoenix. Now might be a good opportunity to fill our viewers in on Beth Phoenix. For those that haven't seen her, tell us what she has to do to win this one. I'm sorry, Michael, what did you say? You do know there's a classic women's match taking place right now, right? Yeah, all I know is she can definitely make a name for herself tonight if she performs well. Focusing her attention on the body here. Driven down with such power, guys. An impressive strike there. Not going to win many matches with that move. The challenger is taking on some offense. With the championship on the line, she'll have to find a way to fire back. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. From the looks of things, it just doesn't appear to be her night. But hey, it's still early enough for her to get back into this thing. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. She wants to do this in the ring. Here she goes again. Beth Phoenix got her there. Looking for the win. Stunner! Emphatically delivered. Big opportunity. Looking for the quick pin. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. A punishing strike. She is just so dominant. One of the greatest strikers in the... Hoping to end it here.
back was clearly part of her game plan heading in. The champ's starting to stumble a bit. She knows she's going to have to bring her A-game if she wants to leave her gold intact here tonight. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. And she's toying with her now. She's thinking about it. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now, really climbing the ladder to execute that one. one two. Beth Phoenix makes her pay there. Got all of that Three. one. Right in the middle of her stomach. Four. Five. Ouch, what a landing. Near a count out here, Corey. It would be a shame if this ends in a count out, Cole. Eight. Uh oh, this doesn't look good, Byron. Two. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Three. Four. Look at that. She nailed her. Now that's how you land a well-placed strike on your opponent. She might be down for good guys. Given the punishment she's absorbed here tonight, yeah, I'd agree with that assessment. Gonna have to get back in the ring here, guys. Running out of time. Eight. Nine. Back in the ring now. Sort of cutting it close though, Michael. And she goes down hard. One, oh, somehow. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, and head and arm triangle. That's it. That's what she needed. Talk about attacking the trachea. And she's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. The champ on the defensive now. This is where we find out what the champ is made of. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend. There's a fisherman suplex. The champ's in a bad way now, Cole. She's going for the cover. She's got her in her sights. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. She counters with a move of her own. Oh, and she makes an escape. Probably looking to catch her breath, I would guess. Looking to flip the tables here. Oh man, she's rolling now. She's taking no prisoners right now. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's going to be feeling that one for a while. This could do it. Look at this. Watch this here. For some competitors, part of their strategy is to demean their opponent. A move like that says it all. Uh. 
That's not what she had planned. Well, if it was, she better rethink her plans. There's the splash. That splash might just end it here. Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Here's the pin. Title on the line. She's having a hard time getting back to her feet, guys. Well, she's absorbed a lot of punishment so far tonight. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Look out! She's not looking very good right now, guys. Incredible! Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Fighting to get back to her feet here. Look at this! Okay, now she shoulders down. This could be it. Having a tough time getting back up here, as you would expect given what she's been through here tonight. This superstar is so happy with this week's power rankings that I'm told they've been framed and now hang over the mantle in his house. Shoulders down, is it enough? A lot of people are questioning how this superstar got such a favorable spot in this week's power rankings. But not to me. Seems perfectly logical. Tough spot here for the champ. This might just be the beginning of the end of her championship reign. At various points throughout this match, I expected to see her abandon that high level of respect she always treats her opponents with. But I guess that's not going to happen. And it looks like she might be paying for it. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. She's down, and she may be out. I think you're right, Michael. I mean, she's not even moving. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. She appears to be in complete control of this one. Six. She doesn't want to get counted out here. Well, she better get back in that ring then. Eight. Back between the ropes. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here too, Michael. And Beth Phoenix reverses it. Three. Back now inside the ring. She's practically motionless right now, Corey. And she's probably wondering what she's got herself into right about now. He's back in full control now. But now, can Beth Phoenix capitalize? I'm not so sure the body's supposed to absorb that type of impact. She lands the leg drop. I wouldn't be at all surprised if she doesn't get up here, guys. Yeah, this might just be the end of the line. For and this has got to be it.
I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. She clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. Look at her go. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Oh, no, a counter. And she comes up with a big counter. That'll take you down. She wants it one more time. Oh, Beth Phoenix brings the pain. She's got it now. Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. She goes to the outside now. I think she's starting to get worried, Michael. Uh-oh. Beth Phoenix is looking to bring it. Wow, and Beth Phoenix has the WWE Universe on its feet. Game, set, match. This one is over. We have the crowning of a new champion. Consider this an upset, Byron. Yeah, a hard-fought victory for this superstar, but definitely earned it. Yeah, look at it. Opponent, sore loser. Yeah, but apparently it backfired. That's what you get for not accepting a loss. Here's your winner, and the new SmackDown Women Champion, Beth Phoenix. Very nicely done, and a very important victory. And to be honest, Michael, neither of these amazing women have anything to be ashamed of. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.